Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, we're going to take a look at how to use preventative maintenance notifications so you can protect the investments you've made in your company. We're going to start out here on the Home tab by selecting Assets. From this list, we're going to choose the asset for which we'd like to schedule our preventative maintenance. Let's select Truck 002, either by clicking on Edit or we could double click on the name. We're going to move into the Services or PMs tab and you'll see here we have two different kinds of preventative maintenance that we can schedule based either on miles of usage for this vehicle or based on a date. If we were working with a piece of equipment, uh, let's say a steam cleaner or a hydraulic drill, we would see the period is set instead to hours. But in this case, because it's a vehicle, we track the usage in miles. We type in the name of the service that we'd like to perform, and the name of this is really up to you. Anything that you type in becomes part of the drop-down, so you can see I've scheduled a check for body damage before, and I've also scheduled an oil change. I'm going to set up an oil change for this truck as well. I'd like to change the oil every 3,000 miles. I'm such an optimist. And let's say that it was last performed at 15,000 miles, so it's next going to be due at 18,000 thousand miles. Now you only have to set up this interval last and next one time. Going forward, Smart Service is going to figure this out for you. Under the assigned drop down, I can choose the name of an employee that I feel would be responsible for performing or scheduling this maintenance. Now it needs to be someone who does sign in to Smart Service in the office so that they can see the notification on their home screen when they log in. If you'd like everyone in the company who logs into Smart Service to see information about the preventative maintenance for Truck 002, leave the assigned drop down blank. The status will leave set to active, and in our notes area, if we have any additional comments about this oil change, although it should be pretty straightforward, we can make those there. The next type of preventative maintenance that we can schedule for this truck is not based on actual usage, but rather based on a date. So moving down to the date PM services, let's say that we have an emissions inspection. And we have this every year, so we would choose our period yearly. The interval will be every one year. And it was last performed, here you see the calendar popping up for us. Let's say it was last performed uh, the 1st of August, and that was in 2011, so we are in fact overdue. The start and end time can be changed using these drop-downs, and then we would want to set the next date, so this is when it needs to be done. Just like your preventative maintenance based on the miles, uh, as we set up before, you're only going to have to do this once. Going forward, Smart Service will figure that next date out based on the period and the interval that you've selected. We also have the ability to scroll over to the right, and we can assign this to one particular employee, or we can leave it blank to broadcast to everyone, and we can add notes. All right, so we're going to get a certificate for passing our emissions check every year. To see notifications and complete my preventative maintenance, I need to head back to the Home tab by clicking on Home and Home. And you can see under Smart Service today, I have 1 p.m., which is due. I can click on you have 1 p.m. to see a list of all of the preventative maintenance. This list is going to include the name of the asset, truck 002, the name of the service, emission inspection. I can see uh, how frequently this is meant to occur every year, and I can see when it was last due and when it's next due. So I see here that I'm late by quite a bit. To mark this as completed, I would select edit or I can click on the name 
of the preventative maintenance. I want to set the date where that was performed. It's going to assume today's date, but you can change that. In the drop-down, you can select the name of the employee who completed the maintenance, if it's someone other than yourself. And then you can also indicate if you took this to a vendor to have this work completed. You can indicate the mileage or hours where this was performed. Let's say this was performed at 15,800 miles. If there are labor hours, costs, materials, or miscellaneous uh, costs involved, you can make those notes, and then you can see that we're scheduled for our next service, 8-1-2013. I can make comments here in the notes, and when I'm ready, I select Mark as Complete. When you mark your preventative maintenance as complete, it does come off of the home screen. It comes out of the Smart Service Today list of things you need to take care of. And if we go back to our assets, under Truck 002, in the Service History, you can see the Service History entry that we made just now with the information we provided before we marked that preventative maintenance as complete. For more information about assets and other tools in Smart Service, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, read our blog at www.smartservice.com, or check out our wiki at www.smartservice.com forward slash wiki.